it's our first full year in the garden. That's where I am right now. And I'm watching the birds going by. And the garden pond is looking great. You wouldn't think that it's just months old. It's matured. I planned it. So what went in and what's gone around has all been part of a plan. And it looks really good. And I've got my next nature blog to publish. And there's that much to put in there. I've actually got the written blog in front of me so I can remember everything. Well, we did have an algae problem during the recent hot weather. Oh, my dog's come down. Do you want to come and join me? Dilwyn, come on, come here. Hang on. Come on. Oh, here we go. This is Dilwyn, <laughs> the latest addition to our family. We did have a problem during the hot spell, but that's gone now, been able to keep that under control and been able to pull some of the algae out, make sure nothing was caught in it, like the snails or the newts or the tadpoles, which brings me to the uh, next point, because we've got ramshorn snails in there and they're breeding prolifically. There's loads of, dozens of them, tiny little snails along the edges, cleaning, cleaning the sides. Now the common frog tadpoles that we had, most of them have now turned into froglets themselves. There's still one or two left. Really encouraging though. Smooth newts, we've got those in the pond. And I did a blog entry a while back of a smooth newt actually laying eggs on the weed. I managed to capture that on my iPhone. Well, the great news is we now have larvae in the pond. That's brilliant to see. Caterpillars, we've got both small white and large white, those are butterflies, of course, caterpillars and eggs in the garden as well. It's our little mini personal nature reserve. Young birds, we've had so many, and this is on the feeding station now, not the immediate area, but we're now up to 15 juvenile birds that have been on the feeding station. Blackbird, blue tit, bullfinch, chaffinch, collar dove, dunnock, goldfinch, grey tit, house sparrow, magpie, nuthatch, robin, starling, stock dove and wood pigeon. There's a huge flock of goldfinches in the area at the moment. I've counted 100 birds, about 100 birds, that's a conservative estimate, more into 100 plus than certainly below that figure. Fantastic to see they've had a great breeding season and consequently we're getting lots of juveniles and adults on our feeding station. In fact, as I came into the garden, there were four juveniles feeding away on the sunflower hearts. Not in the garden itself, but where we are, we have, well, we're on a valley and we're towards the bottom. So as we look across, we see the wooded valley on the far side. That extends for a few miles from one end to the other. It's dense woodland and then the other side we also have woodland and we constantly hear munt jacks. You can hear the dog wants to go down. Say hello, Dilwyn. <laughs> dog, dog's gone. And we constantly get munt jacks barking at night. They're very distinctive. If you're not familiar with them, you think that's a dog. It's not. It's a munt jack. And a couple of days ago, I actually heard a roe deer. That was great to hear. And I know they are in the wider area anyway. I hear tawny owls every night, but as of yet, I haven't been able to uh, spot any of them. I saw a barn owl, unfortunately, was a dead one alongside the road. That's just three roads away from where I live. Again, I know they're in the area, but I'll be seeing some live ones soon, I'm sure. And that's it. <laughs> just working. That's my blog entry. That's how my blog entries get done. On my phone, list everything and then publish it. Well, last but certainly not least, I'll add this one now, the hedgehog. We knew there was a hedgehog because we saw the droppings. Again, if you're into nature, you can tell animals from the droppings. And now, every night, we come out and watch the hedgehog. Well, when I'm at home, I come out and watch the hedgehog. Like clockwork, at the same time, it comes along, especially when it's been raining, crunching on the snails, eating the slugs, and it's, again, fantastic to see. Check out my site on the homepage. I've just redesigned the homepage. 
you'll see garden nature blog click on it and everything that I've done in the garden or seen in the garden this year including the pond development it's all listed in there